good day. Whatever time of day it is you're watching this. Get it out of the way to begin with. Daily challenge. We're going to do the same format we did at least for Wednesday. And then when next week starts, it'll be a little different. Let's start the game. Anyway, thank you for those who gave me their input and their thoughts. It's always appreciated. Thank you for taking the time. Dasmarinus. I'm thinking Cebuana. This, this is probably Philippines. Uh, yeah, thanks for the input and taking the time to do it. It's appreciated. And uh, I did mention, yeah, I have some ideas. Hello, Tweety Bird. I'm just going to go that to whatever it was. I'm going to hit home. I'm going to see if I can't take a Dasmarinus. Is it big enough to show up? I'm not seeing it just yet. I got two minutes. Dasmarinus. My guess it might be like a city by like a, another massive city. Uh, I'll just put us maybe near Manila and uh, see if I can't maybe uh, find something else. Sorry, sidetracked. I do that a lot, but you probably should be used to it by now. Jelly Bee, I hear that's interesting. I forget, it might have been Anthony Bourdain who was talking about Jelly Bee. And the food they have there. What are we selling? I want to I see it. We've got a hot dog. Looks like there's a lot of scrambled eggs. The cheese. I'm assuming that might. that's a yum burger. Jelly hot dog, a burger steak, and jelly spaghetti. I, I have this thing with certain foods you never order at a, uh, never order at a uh, restaurant. And I feel like meatloaf is one of them. Ooh, the Bureau of, we've got file and pay, correct income tax. We got some people not paying their taxes. Tisk tisk. And I am just distracted. What do we got? Cavite. Ah, here we go. 44 seconds. Cavite. That I've seen before. Now, can I remember where it is? Uh, sources say no. Cavite, I've seen you. Come on. Show up. It's going to pop up in like 10 seconds. Like, oh yeah, it's right there, of course, because that's me. Cavite. I feel like it's down here. Oh, well, there's Cavite. It's on a little island. Why didn't I remember that? I forget a lot of things. A lot of things like the beginning of the the introduction I had to, oh God, the introduction I had to this video were thoughts. This doesn't help me in any way. That's not, that. that's English, but I mean, it's, it's, not a foreign language wording to help me figure out where we are. That's an airport, it looks like. Um, anyway, stuff going forward. I did mention that uh, this might be, I don't know, there's pine trees. Um, I did mention in some of the, com the, the comments that, yeah, um, I... Do have ideas, and a lot of them are kind of being hamstrung by the fact that I'm trying to get a new computer, do some new stuff, but actually getting any um, parts is goddamn impossible. Mainly because they're just all out of stock. Like video cards have been, I've, I've, I've been looking since like September, and everything's been out of stock to the point where I'm not going to pay. 100, 200 percent of what a piece of hardware is. I think we're in Estonia, and I'm not. I'm not going to pay that much to scalpers or that high 
to get a new video card or anything else. I'll just sit and wait. I'll be patient. I mean, I've been waiting since, like I said, September. I can wait a little longer. Um, but yeah, I've thought about doing some other games, but trying to record some of them in a good enough quality. Like, I had a hard enough time with this PC trying to do, I believe it was medium settings for uh, um, Rainbow Six Siege. And even if I wanted to, like, mess around and show how bad I am at Tarkov, um, I can't imagine how low my video quality would have to be to actually be able to record that. I mean, streaming that alone, it, it, some of the maps are notorious for high bit rate or her pixelation. Like, if you watched any of the videos I made about driving in a car, um, you show, like, trees and foliage and how crappy that looks. Uh, it's It'll be just as bad trying to do that with... Uh, trying to do that with the PC I have. Maybe it'll be better with a new one because the, the, what I'm looking to invest as far as making it um, would probably set me for a couple of years more than the last one did, which we did actually way back when the, when the channel first started, like 2017. Uh, like I had, oh, yeah, I got the country right. Sweet. Like I had a tower built for the channel then. We had all the footage uh, recorded for it. Evo was all about doing it. And then when it actually came to doing it, uh uh didn't bother doing it. There was a couple of videos that were like that, but I mean, I can only do so much. I'm not going to force, when he was part of the channel, I'm not going to force him to do things he doesn't want to do. That's what he wanted to and not wanted to do. But anyway, we're flying up into the air, apparently. Yep, there we go. Termina, pa end of pavement. We're learning Spanish. This is probably Mexico. I think I saw a flag on the side of this. Yeah, we're, we're Mexico, or this is at least a Mexican conclave in some other South American country. Anyway. Yeah, that's the plan. Some different games I would like to do, but being hamstrung by not being able to get PCs. It'll happen eventually. I don't know when. But, as it stands, oop, I do have, uh, we're starting on a highway, but unfortunately, I don't think it's listing it. No. Some of them do. This one does not. Um, yeah, I can probably do a few things in the interim, like maybe some more magic stuff. But I'll have to stick with it a bit more, I think. Um, like... GeoGuessr stuff in general. It's not many views. And compared to some other stuff, like even the cooking stuff, I'm that that barely gets anything. But I kinda feel like I should I, I, I'm like completely committed to actually finishing the book out at least. Mainly because it was a thing that my aunt did for when my grandmother died. Christ like twenty something years ago. And last year she died as well, so I'm kind of doing that as a tribute to her, and I already have, my mom found these little tins full of basically every single recipe that my grandmother had, that hey, I'll probably end up doing once, uh, I'll probably end up doing once the book's done, and it's some weird stuff, potentially. Uh, I should probably click a place. This seems a bit arid, so I think we're definitely not down here, I feel. I feel we're up here somewhere. A little bit more deserty, shrubland. Not as mountainous. So, we will do that once the book's done, but uh, there's, there's plenty of pages left in this thing. Is that a donkey? Or are you just a horse? I think you're a horse. If you put a gun to my head and told, like, try to have me tell you with complete definitiveness what that is, eh, I wouldn't be able to. Well, we're at the end of pavement. Unsure of where we are. This was much of a highway. Um, I think I got the country right. Yep. Oh, we're outside Durango. 
I wouldn't have known that. I got the region right. That's that's mainly what I'm happy with. Hello. Uh, former Soviet bloc. Which one? I don't know. Hmm. Now, not knowing much about the culture, is there a certain age that grandmothers get to where they just, like, do they mail you the little kerchief to put on your head? Is it inherited from, your, from, from a family? These things are always helpful for at least kind of knowing um, where we are. Because if it was better quality, it usually says, like in this case, the European Union on the top right. The countries, either like agricultural or municipality on the left. And then reading the stuff, it'll usually say where we are. But I'm not seeing it listed anywhere on here. I just mean, I see Euro. I'm thinking this, this is Poland. Because of the excessive use of W's and J's. Um, where in Poland? Uh, look, I'm just, I'm just kind of glad I think I actually got the country. I think we're about to do a complete circle. But it's, it's what we got to do. Are we at the end of the road? No, we're not. Although I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm not where I want to be. It seems to be suburban Poland here, but I can't tell where oh, we're, we're at a dead end here. All right. <clears throat> this new Polish development. Ooh, this might help. Um, can I get... Is that a buffalo? Yeah, this is like that in-between where I'm not, I'm not going to be able to see that. Maybe, maybe one more. No, it's too far. Let's see. This isn't helpful. Like, this almost feels... Um, Russian. Like, uh, that little nugget of Russia up here. But it's not. We're, I'm, I'm going to say we're close. Like, maybe this part of Poland. But, eh, I don't know. I think I've only had one guess in all GeoGuessr that's actually been in this nugget. And from what I remember, it was um, Cyrillic, but it reminded me of Estonia. <laughs> There's like German and Cyrillic. It might have been just the truck that was there. Why do I remember this? Oh, so again, kind of a sound assumption. It, it actually getting the, the dart I throw to actually hit bullseye. I mean, I'm hitting the board at least. So I have that going for me. This is Bavarian. Um, so Bavarian, it might actually be uh, Slovakia. It's cobblestone roads. Techniski. I th yeah, Slovenia, I think, actually. May even be this little place here, just because it says. Slov I think it actually literally says Slovenia. <laughs> um, but that's the goal. Getting back to whatever I was talking about. Um, I'll probably do, maybe one or oh, we're in Bistra. Is that is that the name of this place? I'll probably do something. New or revisited. Just got to figure out what. Um, Bissage, is that, is that what it said? Bistra. I think this is too small of a little town for it to actually show up anywhere here. But as far as the GeoGuessr stuff goes, hmm, maybe, uh, probably still twice a week. Uh, maybe I'll do like a Monday and a Friday. Or I'll just keep it as a Wednesday and Friday thing. Maybe change. Like when I did 
three days a week and Monday was kind of like states. I might do something along those lines with countries. I don't know yet. I mean, I don't remember the exact day I uh, stopped doing. For some reason, I thought those were graves. Uh, I don't remember when I actually stopped doing the states, but it's been at least six months, I think. Maybe even longer. I think I remember at the time saying like, hey, let's take a break for a minute. And maybe I've taken a break long enough where, hey, you know, two days is fine. But it's, it's, it's finding that balance of doing these, doing the cooking thing, and then something else on the side. Either way, it'll just be something I keep throwing at a wall, seeing what sticks. I N. I don't think that that's any country's abbreviations. I think it might be like a dot biz. Like maybe it's an international dot I N. Dot Innsbruck. Maybe it's maybe it's specifically for Innsbruck. Oh, we found a highway. We were outside. I have to. How far do I have to zoom in to get to Bist? Oh man, I gotta go a long way. I was not going to see that. Again, country. Dartboard hit. Didn't do that bad. All things considered. I mean, I'm assuming everybody who does this for the daily challenge cheats. I have no way of proving it. I don't care. But I feel like I'm doing well enough for these. I've got a couple of 5,000s. And I've not, but we're going to be right back with another 10 second challenge run. Feeling better, feeling good. I think I can get over like 50%. That's my goal. I think I can do it. Stay tuned. Here we are. Diverse world again. 10 seconds, no moving. Rapid fire. Uh, Australia. It's either Australia or it's South Africa. Okay. We're outside Darwin. I got the continent. That is a plus. Um, uh, that looked like bad pixelation. I'm thinking e- Eastern Europe. We were on the little tiny island, huh? The What I thought was the pixelation was kind of bad on that one, and I thought it was showing Cyrillic. And I also didn't give it enough time to squint hard enough to see if I can tell. I have 10 seconds. Give me a break. Uh, and I'm also getting these as my guesses. I'm going to say we're in northern Argentina. This is probably Brazil or Mexico. It's Spain. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, hello. Um, one of these two. I'm going to say Ireland outside Dublin. Okay, it was not. Gulf Petrochem. Um, Which Gulf? I don't know. It's in English. I'm concerned. It is definitely not here. Yeah. My brain was not going to guess the Persian Gulf, even though it makes way more sense than what I picked. (laughs) Because Louisiana is in a desert. This was kind of like a throw my hands up, give up. But we're going to do another one because that went terribly. We're going to do this again. 10 seconds, come on. Give me some useful stuff. This isn't, uh, I'll say Romania, maybe like there. Okay, it was Italy, halfway. Good start, we can only go up. Oh my God. I don't know, I'll say Denmark. Netherlands, that's more than half. This is good. Although this 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 random thing is just giving me nonstop. Oh, nonstop. Uh. Okay, it's just giving me nonstop middle of nowheres. Uh, this is Israel. I'll just say we're outside Jerusalem. <clears throat> and. Got some pretty good score out of that. All right, final one. This is the game breaker. And I think Scania makes me think 
here, unless this is Canada, I think Central Europe. Okay. It was Europe at least. I don't know what my math was for all the other ones combined, but did I actually get over half? I did. Okay. So a little bit better, but diverse world is hard, even with the 10 second challenge. But I also drew badly because they were just picturesque middle of nowhere images, except for the Israel because the, the, the billboard actually gave me the language and kind of made it easy. But anyway, that's going to do it for this week. Thank you again for watching all of your inputs. I got a cough. Give me one sec. All of your comments, all your likes, your favorites, your subscriptions along with those. If you have any tips, hints, suggestions for anything at all, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I will read them and get back to you as I always do. Go enjoy your weekend. We'll be back next week with some more and some new. We'll see how the weekend goes. See you then.